Hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> At first, I was captivated by her shoes. I know, how shallow of me, but you should have seen them. <laughs> Truly. Quickly, it was her story and her unconquerable spirit that made me a fan. At just 13 years old, she immigrated to this country and didn't speak a word of English. She spent her days working in her mom's beauty shop while the rest of the kids her age were out having fun. This experience would serve her well, as it caused her to recognize a gap in the beauty industry. With a lot of passion and hard work, she created NYX Cosmetics, the drugstore beauty brand that had major mass market appeal. You would think that the multi-billion dollar beauty industry would be saturated with women at the helm, yet when she started this company, she was one of the few female beauty brand owners. What the hell? Just a few years later, L'Oreal was smart to come knocking. With the sale of NYX Cosmetics, her dream of helping girls feel more beautiful without pinching their paychecks made her one of the most successful women business owners in a male-dominated industry. Yeah. It was apropos. We started with Beyonce, and I was going to say, key Beyonce, girls really do run the world, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, now with perverse sunglasses, she intends to pave the way once again, not only as a businesswoman, but also a philanthropist. She inspires me every day, not only to grow my shoe and sunglass collection, uh, but to be unstoppable and inspire others. She's my boss. She is my friend. She's one of my role models. I'm so honored to introduce vampire extraordinaire Tony Coe.